Hey, calm down, all right? There is plenty of money. <laughs> Remember him? Jason Baldoni, he's best known for portraying Rafael Solano on Jane the Virgin, but the actor is now adding author to his resume. Boys Will Be Human is already on the New York Times bestseller list. The book is a real talk, self-esteem building guidebook that helps boys ages 11 and up embrace their feelings and fears instead of repressing them. Jen has more. A big congratulations. The book is officially out. <laughs> Look at us, we're twins. Boys will be human. This is a personal book. I mean, you gave some details when it comes to what it was like, specifically when you were younger and growing up. It's a deeply personal book um, and, and an important one and a necessary one. You know, when I wrote Man Enough, my last book, it was a really cathartic, beautiful experience and at the same time as I was writing, I had a lot of stuff come up that I had to look at and heal. And a lot of the stuff that came up was from middle school and high school. And uh, I thought to myself like, man, it's one thing to reach men where they are, grown men once they've put the armor off. But what if we could reach men before they put the armor on? What if we could reach boys before socialization grabs them? And they learn all of these rules and they put on this armor that it's going to end up uh, hurting them more than helping them. One thing I think worth noting is you almost put a disclaimer, for lack of a better word, in the beginning, letting parents know, hey, there's some heavy content in here. Because at first glance, I thought, okay, yeah, you know, it's a book for boys. Yeah. But when it comes to tackling serious matter, I mean, you almost have to put that in there for parents to know. It was important. Yeah, it was really important for me um, because I talk about a lot of things that uh, some parents are not going to be ready to talk to their kids about. And that's why I, I wrote the book. I wrote it imagining, man, what if I was able to ask all the questions at 12 years old and 14 years old? What would that have been like? What if I could have asked anybody about porn and sex and all of these types of things? And I and I never could. And so I, like most young boys, learned about sex through porn. Mm -hmm. And as we know, porn is a terrible sex ed teacher. <laughs> Especially now that it's at the fingertips of young men and young the women. The fingertips of, exactly, it's everywhere. Justin, you do a little bit of everything and you do it well. Many of our viewer, viewers will recognize you from Jane the Virgin. We spoke with you before here on Six in the Mix uh, after directing Clouds. Also, Five mm -hmm. Par, a very, uh, I mean, I have teenage girls at home. They love that movie. When, when it comes to your books, when it comes to your movies, the content you put out, it seems that there is a lot of thought behind it. It's not just, okay, I'm going to make another movie. I'm going to write another book. I was raised I was raised in the Baha'i faith and the Baha'i teachings are very clear that all human beings have a unique contribution to give to this world and what, whatever our occupation or our trade is that that should be a form of service to humanity. So for me, if I'm going to be blessed enough to have a platform or to be able to make movies or write books or to be in to be in things, I want it to be a benefit to the world. Justin, thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you so much, Jen.